boom, she's pregnant and you have a kid coming. What are you doing? I'm probably getting drunk and dugging it out. If I don't like the bitch, I can't have it over there. Or or what are you gonna do? It's either. not coming out of your pussy. Team kick, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'd like to know the backstory. I don't think it changes it though. What if that guy touches yeah. little kids? But this one was like going like fucking crazy on me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get out the car and kill. I was like, fuck. Be on my Fast and the Furious shit. Cutting cars off, trying to leave them in the dust. Is your girl allowed to have a boy best friend? Your girl and you are going through a tough time. Boy best friend's gonna be like, oh, he don't deserve you. He treat you like shit. He's gonna fuck with your girl's mind. And then that's when he's gonna slide in. Come back around. <laughs> Give me the money on the register. I said it, but no one registered it. And no one else saw like what had happened. Jumps out the door and just pisses. <laughs> He's like, yo bro, if I hit your door, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I peek over at the stream. That shit is rough as fuck. Yeah. Actually pressure washing. And then he looks back and he goes, bro, I missed. What? Put your headphones on. I didn't like the way that you looked at me there. Oh, uh, the fresh cut. Making me think sexually. That is put us like spider. <laughs> What's good, guys? Organic goons back with another pod. <laughs> As you can see, we have a special guest. Ooh, go ahead and introduce yourself, my boy. Hey, like what's up, guys? Pack. Clarence, here with the boys. You know, Clarence' parents named him Clarence. Sir. My dog. Since middle school, Swainston. See it from Toy Story? <laughs> you gotta As put always. up the, the flashback. Oh, yeah, I'll send you a picture of Clarence. You gotta put that on oh, right here. God. Mike, that we just introduced him and we're already this showing guy, pictures like that. This picture? guy pulled the most bitches. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Gosh. Just know I got a picture. Oh, God. To my right. That's good. Who do we have? Jarvis. Okay. In front of me, as always. Yes. Jesse Quad. And behind the camera. It's Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> the banana man. The banana man. Morty Schmaff. That's right. Curls looking on point. Where's your bonnet at? Uh, what the fuck is a bonnet? Bro, is stop like, it. Don't natives wear this that? guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A headdress? No. Is a bonnet? Is? No. It's bro, what I can to in here. You don't know what a bonnet is. In the ceremony, he's like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what a bonnet is? I don't know what the fuck a bonnet is. I bet you'd be showing me a picture. He'll know. I put Search it up, bro. B-O-N-N-E-T. That's what insane, bro. You put you all mean, that bro? Cantu and shit in his hair. He don't know what a bonnet is? He got a Dewey on. That's what I was There's no way you've never seen it. I think I've seen this in like a black comedy before. But <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. That's the one. I've what never seen one in real life. I don't know what this is. Yeah. What? I I didn't get out. Oh, you go to a... Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Boys in the Hood. Friday. Man, to society. All of those. All right. Get straight to it. What we got? Today's theme is violence. Oh, boy. You little bitch. Can't wait. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Damn! God damn, dude! Why'd you fall? Get off! I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker! Let's go! Let's go! Fuck that guy! <laughs> That's crazy! Fuck that! Why'd you fall? <laughs> Why'd you fall? <laughs> one more time! One more time! Well, I think there's a banana peel. <laughs> Look, oh, he got sniped. <laughs> He's resin him, he's resin him. He's resin him. <laughs> oh man, Dude. what sweep. Crazy. See, it's, the, it's those motherfuckers, though. It's those cops that be giving a bad name. You don't know what that fool did. But to get thrown around like that, though? That shit was clean, too. <laughs> Take down. I was actually Okay, back. well, then at least pretend like you meant to do it and not like the. Why did you fall? Why did you fall? That just He's probably acting like a shit, dickhead. Bro. That's why. That's true. Yeah, but still, you got cameras on you. Gotta be careful. There's too many cameras everywhere. 
Well, I mean, that just makes them look like a dick. Yeah, because they have body cams, but they never know when they're on. Hey, bro. Obviously. <laughs> but police stations misplace footage all the time. Yeah. P- they, they fucking be throwing some of that shit away, bro. Plant mad shit into cars. Mm. Police are corrupt, man. They be on some different shit. I'm still gonna call them if I'm in, if I need help though. I'm not gonna lie to <laughs> oh you. God. I'm still happy they're kind of there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> still, still dialing nine one one. Hey, they they some pieces of shit sometimes, but you know, just sometimes. I need some help. Yeah. yeah. If I need help, come help me. Hey, don't pull me the fuck over though. Yeah, don't don't foot sweep me though. <laughs> <laughs> and they ask why I fell, bro, because I wouldn't know. Because I didn't fall. <laughs> I didn't fall, <laughs> sir, sir, sir. At least give me a warning. All Banana right, one more peel. time. Just give me one more time, right? Bro, hit the collar tie foot sweep. Obviously, I've never been in that situation, but like, if you have that lack of body awareness, just to. Plank out like that instead of like, like tucking. Like Iggy got thrown, but still he kind of just went limp and then just ate the the cement. It's like curb right there too. Yeah. That shit must have hurt for real. If I could make some bite the curb. Falling Why'd you again. fall? Falling Why'd again. you fall? Like that, dude. Get up! Get up! Especially you with your hands back there, I feel like that fucking hurt your wrist. Yeah, definitely. just landing like that. I don't know how to defend wrist locks or what. Hmm? What? I guess not. He's not a blue belt yet. You guys ever been... Have any uh, cop stories? Not a single one. Thank God. I haven't had any God situations. Like, God dead? God dead? Yes. No cop situations at all. At all. I've had a few like... What's going on? And then... You talked about one. Your way. Huh? I think you, you talked talk about, about one. one, yeah. Which one? I talk- oh, like the this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. That would have been the yeah, but that guy was cool. It was that like doesn't a count. I'm thing. talking about like this, like, like that. Handcuff. No, like no. never under arrest or anything okay. like that. Never. Clients? No, nah, but I've seen multiple family members not get arrested. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that? Get foot sweat? No, nah, not like that. But oh, like okay. awesome, like throwing them in the car and everything. And and also, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Foot and everything, just yeah, like seeing like, him. Grabbed him by the head, just like get in. It's like they're being like me. It was you, huh? <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> Damn. Said, Personally, I wouldn't know, but I heard over the grapevine, you know, just over there. I just saw it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was, I wasn't in person. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> that's insane, bro. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in general. Like on the street, just like happening. I don't think so. First reaction. If you get thrown down like that, you start crying, milking it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's necessarily milking it, bro. I'm sure that shit hurt. But I'm asking you, what are you doing? Oh, I have no fucking clue. I mean, at that point, I know that they don't give a fuck. I feel like at that point, now I'm scared for my life for sure, for sure. It is like they're willing to just throw me down and ask me why I fell. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck about anything. He's his own boss. I'd like to know the backstory. Me too. I don't think it changes it though. Like getting thrown around like that. What if, he's what if that guy touches yeah. little kids? Oh, then fuck that guy. <laughs> Curb stomp him. But that's different. That's why we do need the the backstory though. And then we ask him why he fell. Yeah. <laughs> and then we ask him. <laughs> biting the curb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I guess. I guess depending on the situation, but like the ten seconds that we got right before it, like it just didn't seem warranted. It's crazy that this is a reality. In what way? Or what part of it? Like, well, like movies, you, you see stuff like this. But like now you see actual people getting like getting it done too. Like the George Floyd thing was really big with that. And then you just see a... Like police brutality is more... Like mainstream now. I think, like, like I said more. earlier, bro, it's the cameras. Yeah. Everyone has a camera. It's so easy to capture people doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. 
So easy. You could go hang out in the corner. You're going to see a lot of people do the wrong shit. Oh, oh what you doing on the corner, big guy? <laughs> <laughs> just scout him, bro. What okay. <laughs> scouting out talent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in Boulder City, scouting out talent. <laughs> no, it's Boulder Highway, not Boulder City. Get it right, bro. Probably like 15 minutes away. Good hey, different clientele. Oh, you would know, huh? That's why I go up. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Why'd you fall? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see this video. Oh. <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dummy, he deserved that shit, bro. He deserved yeah. that shit again with this fucking road rage, bro. Road rage is fucking crazy. Are you gonna like? You have to. What? Bleep out that? Yeah. Uh, yeah sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <Unless. laughs> Maybe if I feel like it. Depends on the day. Yeah. I, dude, have you been an experienced road rage like that? Uh, I know one of us has. That's why we're waiting for him for the end. But have you? So there was one time where we were driving back from Calbunga Bay. And uh, of course, it's the 95. There's always construction, right? Uh, about to pass downtown. And then it merges into... It goes from like three to two, I think. And there's a guy behind me and he keeps trying to pass. But there's a car in front of him. So he just keeps honking and honking. And now he's keeps switching lanes, trying to get past. And then, like, uh, it keeps trying to merge, and I'm slowly turning in. And then this guy speeds up and cuts me off. So our cars are like this now. And then he rolls down his window. He's like, learn how to drive, stupid-ass bitch. And then my mom just looks back. Excuse me? <laughs> my window was already down. She's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. And I just go, <laughs> and then they just keep yapping and yapping and yapping and i end up in front of him and then he keeps trying to follow me and then eventually he just kind of like gets away but i had Jex in the car and matthew and they were all just kind of spooked uh that's probably the worst i've done though that guy ended up eating the side like that but it was another car oh for real and he kept yapping and yapping and he just rear-ended the guy oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wish i was recording i have a dash cam but probably not that far back Damn. Yeah. Uh, Clarence? Uh, um, actually, I've had someone, like, throw a water bottle. <laughs> like, he was trying to cut me off and everything, and then I kind of, like, was instigating it, because, like, he was trying to go in front of me, and I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, I'm, I'm done with this. Like, I was ready to have a bad day. I was like, I need to get home. I need to like, <laughs> do my things. And then he just kept swerving in and trying to, like, merge into me and then like he got really close to me and i was like bro like what are you doing and then he just got to the point where like he rolled down his window and just fucking chucked the water in my window <laughs> open or closed no it was actually closed bro it's just like random fucking water bottle. bro he probably just i hate the motherfuckers that throw the cigarettes cigarettes yeah like the butts they'll All just right. throw it whether you're trying to throw it on the street or not you're fucking you end up hitting something i hate that shit fuck dude i've had the one of them was pretty spooky. This is the one we're waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for. I remember one time I was running late for for Jit's class, right? Oh yeah, I know this story. <laughs> and my house from the gym isn't very far. It's maybe like a 10, 15 minute drive, right? The point is the street right off my house, our house, it gets kind of busy during certain times of of day, mm -hmm. where it's like pretty. There's a good amount of traffic. Yeah. So one of those, I'm already running late, so I'm rushing to the gym, and I just decide to get into a lane, and I, in front of me, there was a school, not a school bus, just a regular city bus, gonna stop to pick up people, yeah. and there was cars coming on this left lane, I'm in the very first lane, and as I see it stopping, I'm like, dude, I gotta go, I can't get stuck behind this fucking bus, so I step on the gas, and try to go into the left lane. Mm -hmm. There are cars, but there was enough distance for me to be able to get in where I wasn't like almost hitting the bus and wasn't almost hitting them. So the point is, it's like some Escalade. 
I'm not gonna say <laughs> what kind of person was in the escalator. Okay, Kanye. But it was a black belt escalator, right? <laughs> and the point is, I fucking go full beans and I get into the lane. Realistically, there was no harm, no foul. Because, again, I didn't hit either of them. <laughs> right? Was it a dickhead move? A little bit. But it was also a dickhead move where there was enough space where it's like, I'm not trying to cut you off to like stop you from getting anywhere. I'm just not trying to get stuck behind this shit. But he wanted to be an asshole too and had a V8. So he kind of, you know. <laughs> versus my V4, Versus bro. my V4. <laughs> it, four bangers? I cut it close. I was on my Fast and the Furious shit, bro. <laughs> If I didn't gears. full beans it, I would have fucking rear-ended the shit out of a bus. I would have been on the news. <laughs> that shit would have been bad. Yeah. But the point is, I get in, right? This one starts honking at me, yelling at me. And you know, the that road is just from my house to a block off of the gym. Yeah. is a straight road for like four or five miles. So I'm like driving on this road. <laughs> and keep in mind, I'm in a fishbowl, so there's no tent whatsoever. <laughs> Right, so I'm sitting here, I like put my radio up, and I'm like trying to look straight, and then this fool's just on the side of me, fucking yelling at me, screaming shit at me, he was fucking out the, I I just went, (laughs) should've went, yeah, almost, almost, I would would grab my water bottle, like drink from it at stoplights, but this fool was like going like fucking crazy on me, he gives a, I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to get out the car and kill... I was like, fuck. So the point is, I started trying to actually be on my Fast and the Furious shit. <laughs> and I was cutting cars off, trying to leave them in the dust. I took like two left turns. And your V4. The full <laughs> ball, me in the V4. Finger. So, you know, didn't get very far. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, but fucking... The point is, I get to the point where I'm almost at the gym, right? And I'm like, this fool's still following me. We've been driving for like five miles now. Somebody else would have chilled out. Nobody died. Again, <laughs> nobody died. And then this will still follow me. So I caught Isaac. I'm like losing my shit at this point. Because again, I'm in the fucking fishbowl. <laughs> and this big, broad, black dude is trying to chase me. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't... I didn't, that's not a good situation to be in. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. So I, needed, so I needed some advice on the fly. So I call this phone. I'm like, hey, dude. Someone's following me. I don't know where to go. Right? And he tells me, just... Take a few turns, see if you lose them. I was like, you know what? I didn't try that enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what ends up happening is we end up getting stuck at a light. And at He's this still point, at you. this was still yelling at me, right? What's he in? A blackout uh, escalade. Uh, escalade. Uh, so he has windows down and is he just like... Yeah, he's just yelling shit at me. From both sides, too. It was pretty impressive. <laughs> Cause like, cause like he would go, he would get ahead, Bro, so I would slow down and go like behind to the opposite side of him. But he was still, he was holding up traffic to try to get me to. So it's like he's pulling up and there's a line of cars behind him, and I'm like driving real slow, trying not to get eye view with him, cause you know, <laughs> makes it less uncomfortable. But, <laughs> but yeah, it comes to the point where we get to the light, literally down the block from this fool's gym, and and he kind of just leaves. I take a right turn, he takes a left turn. And I was like, <laughs> finally do my asshole fucking open up a little bit. <laughs> Had a little breathing room. And I took a few few more turns, made sure I lost him. Made sure he wasn't hitting me with the fucking, you know, no look pass or some shit. <laughs> Dude, I did, when he called me, I was teaching kids class. And I was like finishing up kids class. And then I just see my phone ring. Dun, 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 and I answer, he's like, Hey bro, uh, I kind of cut some guy off, and uh, he's obviously not too happy. <laughs> he was pointing finger guns at me, <laughs> and he said he's gonna kill me. <laughs> what do you think I should do? He's pointing finger guns. That's exactly how he said it too. He's like, he's like, yeah, he said he's gonna kill me. He's throwing up gang signs and finger guns, and then I was like, yeah, bro, just take random turns. Because if you come to the gym, you're going to bring him to the gym. <laughs> so I'm like, just take a couple random turns because like, this is going to lead into another story. But after, <laughs> I was like, yeah, just let me know. And then right before I hung up, he was like, <sighs> okay, actually, I'm okay. He, he left me alone. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. 
Yeah. But that leads me to another story when um, CJ was letting me drive his car at Texas Station. Yeah. And at the time, I didn't have a license, so he just trusted me with the car. And damn, I don't even know if I can tell this story. Might have to bleep it out. Give me the summary just that we could cut out less of it. Uh, Bad deal. Black car. I do remember that. Yes. I don't know. You can tell that story. Okay, scratch that. Never mind. Let's not tell it. <laughs> Talking about CJ, I remember me and CJ were in his car, and you and Jesse were working at McDonald's. Yeah. And uh, me and him were slamming like four locos and some oh mics and everything. God. What? And this is when well, I was like, fuck, dude. It's like high school still. Yeah, like 16, 17. Yeah, 16, probably. 17. He's like, you ever tried a, a beer? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> was Fucking like, CJ, man. I was like, tried this. I was like, all right, fuck it. Started slamming beer. Ugh. Uh, that's gross. Yeah. It was actually pretty good. The <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day too because you guys ended up picking us up, but you guys couldn't drive because obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. I need to tell the story when Jesse got drunk <laughs> in front of your dad. <laughs> oh my god! It was CJ's birthday. He had just turned twenty-one. 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 We went to Walmart, and I remember it's Apple Crown. Yeah, we went to that Walmart by the by the house, and we he bought a bottle of Apple Crown. Point is, oh, I remember the story. <laughs> point is, we started drinking. We started taking yeah. shots, but they weren't little shots. They were like five, six count shots out the bottle, and we we're just handing yeah. it off. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. Just you and CJ. But me at the time being distraught, yeah, because Isaac was gonna drive. I drank a little bit too much, too fast, and got pretty fucking sauced. Per use. Per use. <laughs> per use. And then we were outside my house for a little bit. I tried to fight Isaac. <laughs> tried no to way. fight him? Tried to race me. I tried to race him. <laughs> no way. And the point is, well, meanwhile, I'm fucking started moving, started getting the blood pumping. I got even more sauced. And then shit got messy. Mm-hmm. That's the gist of it. Yeah. While Satellites was in the house, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It was that day. Yeah, she well, I, I guess she got off work or you were working some shit, but she heard everything he said. I totally forgot she was in there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> she heard everything he said. And then we just left it at that. Your dad was like, who was he drinking with? And I was like, my brother. <laughs> Is he 21? Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm pretty sure when I left, he probably had another talking to, but he was like, he was like, hey, hey, yo, Isaac, take a picture before you leave. Throws the cover over and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> then he woke up the next day and called me. I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. like, you're good, dude. I had a great time. <clears throat> bro, you're great at getting sauced early. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just how, that's his personality, though. If we're gambling, he's losing money quick. If we're drinking, he's getting drunk quick. If we're partying, he's partying quick. He's getting to the point. Exactly. <laughs> he don't like build up. He fuck foreplay, bro. He gets straight into it. Penetration. <laughs> fuck, dude. No spit, no nothing, no. bro. No. full beans. Did we tell the story about you pissing yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I tell? <laughs> but that piss right there was the same thing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Fuck, dude. That piss was crazy. You care if I tell it? <laughs> that yeah. one's not bad. No, it's not bad. Yeah. That one's funny, though. Yeah. So, uh, Seward to Omaha is like an hour and a half drive or where our college town was and then where he was flying in. Uh, after our first two semesters, he was like, yo, what if I just come out like a week before you guys get out? Or it was like four days or some shit. He was like, yeah, we just, I just live with you guys. And we were like, fuck yeah bro let's do it <laughs> and then he flew out and then um what were we doing we were just playing a game huh just probably playing a game most of the time yeah and then we were like yo we gotta go so it was it was us it was just it was just us three huh us three. <laughs> tj wasn't even there yeah so we were driving to omaha and rain is crazy and we started driving and it wasn't too bad but in nebraska the the speed limit on the freeway is like 75 or 80 so everybody's probably going 100 anyway. And the rain is just fucking... And you can't even see out of my windshield. So my shit's all the way on blast and it's just... <laughs> just waving? Yeah. 
And then like he's no like, water being clear. <laughs> no, bro, none of it. And then he was just like, "What the fuck, bro? Can you even see?" I was like, "Nope." <laughs> and then just keep cruising. And then I ended up just just chilling in the left lane, so I didn't have to turn anywhere. And I'm just cruising. And that was at Jesse's weight loss era when he was trying to get below 200 or below 215 or some shit. And then he, so he's drinking probably like a gallon and a half of water every day. And we picked you up midday. So if you just do the math, he should be a gallon in. <laughs> yeah. Or like 75% of yeah. a gallon. So <laughs> he, <laughs> we just got twos going. I got uh, my GPS in my hand. We're cruising on the freeway. And he's like, bro, I should have peed before we left. Because <laughs> I need to pee so fucking bad. <laughs> It was, like, it was on that water. You it was already seeing. like an hour in. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. We were deep into the drive, <laughs> bro. The airport was 15 minutes away from where we were. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think you had landed already, and you called us, and then he's like, like this. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, yo, I just landed. He's like, all right, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. He's like, wait, you don't even know what, you don't want to know what gate I'm at? He's like, no, 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 I'll call you right back. <laughs> and then he's like, yo, bro, either pull over here or find a fucking gas station. So we're like, uh, so this is, this is here, that, that L&L outside is probably like the gas station, like uh, just the, the curvature mm-hmm. of it, right? Or like further down. And then he's like, he's like, oh, there's one right there. You better hurry the fuck up though. <laughs> I turn on my signal, I turn in, and we're at the light to turn into the gas station, and this guy goes, bro, fuck it, I'm going to just get out and run across. (laughs) (laughs) Give me five seconds. And then he was like, like, nah, bro, I'm not going to make it. (laughs) I'm not going to make it. (laughs) So I bust the bitch. And then I turn in, I just find the nearest spot, and then he goes, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, did you park? Did you park? And I park. Jumps out the door and just pissing. <laughs> he's like, me so much. He's like, <laughs> but he's like, he's like, he's like, yo, bro, if I hit your door, I'm so sorry. And I peek over at the stream. That shit is <laughs> buff as fuck. Bro, I was power washing. The <laughs> there was no brakes in the stream, but it was just straight on. Actually, yeah. pressure washing. He had his dick up before he even got out the door, dude. <laughs> Probably. That shit was so impressive. And then he looks back and he goes, Bro, I missed. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck that meant. <laughs> and then he just goes, he goes, he goes, Look. <laughs> underwear and there's a so imagine this is his underwear right this is where his, his crotch is right here this whole shit is fucking dark I missed <laughs> those are his exact words he's like bro I fucking missed <laughs> and then I just look and I was like what are you gonna do he was like I don't know let's go inside real quick and then he's like waddling to not let the fucking piss underwear touch his cock <laughs> he's like pulling it away like this and then we finally get to it and he goes into the stall and I think he pissed again <laughs> I'm pretty sure he pissed again for like another 30 seconds so it was just flowing through him and then he just looks at me and he's like look he's like take a picture <laughs> <laughs> take a picture <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a piss stain on his underwear, and then he had to free ball the rest of the time. I remember that part, yeah. like when you guys got to the airport. That rain was fucking gnarly. Yeah, yeah. dude. Fuck Both ways, rain, bro. Yeah, the rain probably made him piss himself. Probably. He was so soothed. I was fighting the elements, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like an avatar over here, water bender, <laughs> water bender. Oh my god. <sighs> I was that was out. fun as fuck when he came out, though. That was. Pause. I did come out. The closet? No. Oh. Okay. To Nebraska. Yeah, that shit was hella fun. Yeah. He was like our roommate. We took him to breakfast yeah. multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> they looked at his ass. And he was like, I'll just wear the Concordia sweater. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know. <laughs> <laughs> I try to walk right in. Yeah. And they're like, where's your, where's your thingy? <laughs> but it's funny because it's like, it's like almost towards the end of the year. It or damn near, it yeah, was the end of the It year, was. Right? I went there to help you guys clean and get your shit. Yeah, out. when we got, he, we had to take one final each, and then that was it. Yeah. And it was funny because we both walked into the fucking, the, we walked into the fucking cafeteria trying to sneak this full in, like that staff didn't see us 
every day of the last year, and out of nowhere, this fool comes out. Yeah. Well, I don't think they gave a fuck, though. But they checked us... They did. Once or twice? They checked us once. Once, because we went one time to the cafeteria, and then I didn't want to go again. Yeah. Cafe on the square. Yeah. <laughs> We're going back, me? Go O Block. I mean, O Street. <laughs> o Block. O Block. Yeah. Hold on, then. What's, your, uh, what's the next one, sir? It's the most tame out of all of them. Oh, nice. The one with no thumb, no paper. If you watch, if you watch look, look, look what it's right oh. fucking Oh, shit. <laughs> Why was that? Why was that? Oh shit! Damn, double homicide. Bruh, didn't Bro. even get to finish his lineup. He got free cut, though. That's fine. He knew what he was doing, though. No, he wants to do the news bro. report and his hairline's all fucking <laughs> 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 He only got, like, what happened to Faith done? He said, bro, get my good side, bro. Get my good side. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Can you watch it again? Sorry. Call me as a motherfucker. <laughs> If you watch, look, 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 Bro, still in the chair with his hood up. <laughs> Did he yeah. contact <laughs> that one guy, like the first one that got shot? No, the that's the guy that got popped first. Two people did get shot, right? Yeah, like yeah. The, the Lakers guy jersey, got, got the Lakers jersey sure. got popped five times, and then the guy tried to run away, and he turned around and fucking cracked his ass. That's pretty impressive, dude. He was trained. He, he had good awareness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. In that hood ass barbershop. I mean, he has to. He knew where he was at, bro. <laughs> he had the blicky he ready to go. Turn, turn, turn. Got him. Yeah, he just waited for the the guy to not pay attention to him. Call Popped an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. That's crazy. Are you gonna carry? Um. Uh, well, now that I yeah, we're waiting for a partnership to go through, and then we're gonna do like this family thing where we all get CCWs pretty much. But it's like a family class from this guy that we know. You should do it. I want a CCW. I want a gun, dude. It's crazy. You in can these get streets. that now. I can. <laughs> it's crazy in these streets, so. You should yeah. get a CCW. Let's do it with us. I'm down for that, actually. I miss shooting. We should just shoot 22s as kids at that uh, that Decatur range. Mm-hmm. I was low key nice. But I kind of miss shooting. The only time I shot for real, for real, was with uh, Chris and them. I shot like Chris's gun. That was it. There was a nine, nine mil. Mm-hmm. It's fun though. It's super crazy to like actually shoot the gun. It was way different than I thought it was gonna be. You gotta shoot my dad's AR. That would be crazy. That shit. Hum. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do AK. My dad invites us to go shooting, but he wakes up at four in the morning, and I don't really want to wake up at four <laughs> in the morning to shoot a gun. <laughs> That's just me though. I, you kind of have to the the freaking oh, yeah, spaces. because it gets it gets packed. Yeah. I, even the place that I went, though, was, like, all the way by uh, Vegas Speedway. Mm-hmm. Like, the one at the entrance of Vegas. You know, it was just, like, random dirt areas. Oh, and we went behind illegal. a mountain. <laughs> nah. it's like, It has, like, a you-could-shoot-out-there type of thing. And there's, like, targets everywhere and stuff like that. <laughs> but, like, we went into, like, behind the mountain. A and you could hear the right. fucking pew. Like, it was kind of <laughs> sketchy, not going to lie. It's Which, probably illegal, probably. I'll ask my dad one of these days if y'all go. You shoot? No, I've actually never shot. Really? Me neither. Yeah. Have you held a gun? Yeah, I've held multiple guns, but I've never shot one. Mm. You've been shot at, huh? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The side eye was crazy with that one. No, I think you can tell that. It's not incriminating. When you're playing basketball? Yeah. The one I've you had, told us? I've had a gun pointed at me multiple times. Um, it's me and my friend. We're at a park. No names, no names. I will bleep it out. It's cool. Um, we got a good editor. There's a new park where I live by. Uh-huh. 
just built it and it's like it's kind of our fault not gonna cap not think about it and everything we're both wearing i was wearing an la hat he was wearing a new york Yankees hat and we were just playing basketball and we we're smoking and it's like walking around the block and it's like a group of like you know what i'm saying Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. them same uh, blacked out Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> the were, first word. I was gonna say <laughs> melanated people. <laughs> Back to they were in a a shit box like a Nissan Altima, probably like 07 shit box. It was four deep, and then they get out. They're all like six four, bro, like tall as fuck. And then they get out. They walk around the park and they're smoking a J. And as they're smoking, who the fuck are those fools? Who the fuck are them? And they just kept like like eyeing us the whole time, bro. They get back in the whip, they start circling the block once and I'm like keeping an eye on it the whole time. They circle the block like maybe four times and they pull up right next to us. Get the fuck out of here right now. And I was like, oh fuck. Like bro, I was stunned. I thought I was like raps, bro. Like four in the morning, high as fuck, like paranoid. Got out of there, fuck, and and when they're leaving, they're fucking chasing us, bro. And I was oh. driving too, and like, I was on an influence too. I was fucking <laughs> allegedly, 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 allegedly. <laughs> so like, it was like a car chase, bro. So like, thankfully I knew my way around those streets. Like my homie, he was gone, bro. Like he's like, bro, get inside here, get inside here. So. Damn, bro. Just like that? Yeah, literally like Why that. didn't you leave? This fool be inviting me to hoop. I want to hoop. <laughs> 4 a.m. hoops, bro. Yeah. Fuck At uh, 4 in the morning, stoned as fuck. 4 in the morning, hoops is dope, though. No one's there. <laughs> uh, except. Except. <laughs> people pulling guns on you. That's insane. That's bro. wild. Fucking A. Dude, like, for was... what? I've exactly. only got a finger guns. <laughs> just a scary just a scary I feel like but... I told this story already but the McDonald's situation um I feel like I might have told this one earlier but I was working the drive through at McDonald's like when I first started 16 I uh 17 maybe at that point in time and I'm working the drive through window and um <laughs> the melody <melanated> people again <laughs> Coming in in like some Cadillac, like an older Cadillac, right? Hmm, so almost they, like there's a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> so like they pull up, dude, and it's a man and a wife. And the dude is like a pretty built dude. He's not buff. He's like a, a He's fatter, a black lead. But yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Um, And then the wife just looks like some fucking hood rat type of like. Per huge. Per huge. Like le- legit look like a hood rat. Had like the nails and like the whole. It was pretty like rough. Sexy red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Some shit like that. Um, but I hand him his drink. I'm like, all right, you had this, blah, 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 right? The whole spiel. And then hand him the drink. Hand Turn the around. Drink <laughs> come back go around. Give me the money in the register. I'm like, um, I just froze, bro. I froze. And then he fucking looks at me. It, it was probably like. 10 seconds 15 seconds but it always feels like forever right uh, so it's like i see it i look at it and i process it i don't say anything i like don't move i don't run i don't do it i literally am just looking at it and i'm like okay and then he um just pulls it down he's like man i'm just playing man just give me my food fucking turn around grab the bag give him the bag of food and he dips out and then i just i go back i'm looking at the soda machine right just straight ahead i was like I just got a good pull on me, <laughs> like, but like, and then we were busy, so I said it, but no one registered it, and no one else saw like what had happened. You you handed him the bag, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you should have went. Let me make sure you got your sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your money. Give me your money. <laughs> like, I, and like, I I stood um. After that, like, I took a step out the window, and then I was in that, like, little corner where they had the frappe machine and, like, the ice thing, like, right next, or, like, right behind it, and I, like, I stayed there, and I think I was, we were working with a big homie, oh, I forget his name, Caesar. yeah, it was Caesar. You forget Caesar's name? Dude, I'm terrible with names, but, like, it was big homie Caesar, and then we were, I was, he's like, what happened? I was like, dude, he's got a gun pulled on me, and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> the next car is ready and like we're like oh fuck all right so i just got back to work and like they didn't give two shits about it That's i didn't crazy, really bro. like complain anything i wasn't like dude i got a gun pulled on me it was literally like i got a gun pulled on me 
And then, all right, get back to work. And then, like, you, actually go. To, you actually have to come inside to come grab it. <laughs> I can't give it to you through the window. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, pulled it out, like, straight, looked straight into it, bro. It was kind of crazy. I never thought I was going to be in that situation, like, That's looking insane. down the barrel. But, like, pulled it back, cocked it, everything, and then just, like, you just stare at it. And I'm like, yeah. damn. Fight or is flight. this it? Yeah. Like, it was literally that. Like, is this it? Because, like, any, if I move, bro. Or like jump out the way. I'm not that quick, dude. That's the saddest way to go out, bro. Yeah. What? Just damn, down. bro. How did Hobby pass? That's a full shot him in the McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, bro. Imagine that. Serving nuggets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Giving him his fucking Big Mac and oh god, Coke. <laughs> he didn't even get his Coke yet. And he fucking popped his ass. Yeah, dude. It's fucked up. I mean, I grew up around guns, so I kind of my dad be like teaching me the rules, just looking for little things like if that person. Is uh fidgeting with the bell, whatever, like hand on the gun. You just, just do your best to walk away. Especially nowadays, you don't know who has a gun. Everybody has a gun, bro. Yeah, you just have to assume that. Yeah, you have to, cause it's like, it's like if I just see you on the middle of the street, right, and I try to go fuck with you, and you pull it out and fucking pop me, it's like, well, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to like the previous video, like road rage one. I've seen a lot of those videos where people start road raging, coming up to the door, do do do, just real quick, dude. For what? Take him down. For what? You got mad because you got caught off, and now you're dead. Like, for what? For what's the point of like doing all that extra shit? Like, calling her the n word, <laughs> chasing him around. I will kill you. Like, what's the point of it, dude? Like at that point, that's a threat. I feel like you'd have reasonable. I bleep myself. We should, C- <laughs> <shot himself. Yeah. laughs> we should all do CCW. Hmm? We should all do CCW. Should do CCW. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's why you can't get down anymore, yeah. bro. Mm. Can't get down. You can't bro. get down in the streets no more. You bro. don't see guns in Hawaii though. No. They can, they scrap though. They scrap. It's I like, mean, they tried, the bro. <laughs> they, they tried. I mean, whatever they they consider scrapping, but they never pull out a gun. Yeah. It's like if you got problems, you go meet in the middle of a park and you guys just duke it out. Well, wow. speaking of guns though, there was a funny story about Oscar that I heard. Um Uncle Omar and Shaji had to pick this guy up for something one time, right? And they were taking him out of town, I'm pretty sure. And uh Grams gave him the door code. <laughs> so they, they come in, right? And first idea is, oh, this fool's not awake, let's fuck with him. And then <laughs> They come into the house, bash the door in, and then all, they, they both go, give me all your money. And then I just, <laughs> this is what this is like third person, this is what they're telling <laughs> He's me. He's happy. And then, <laughs> and then Oscar just. <laughs> so they have a video. I just need to grab it for them. But he's like, and then they just came back to where we were. And they kept telling us over and over again. It's like, yo, if Oscar were to get robbed, he'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Where were, you, where were you at? You were in your he room in or room right here? He was laying down. He's sleeping. So yeah. you just heard them like rush in or I what? I just heard a loud noise and saw lights. Yeah, I was scared. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like who would it be, right? Yeah. There's some random people breaking into your house. That's crazy. There really is no fucking like transition out of this. So I'm just going to switch the topic. Since... All the boys are here. We're just missing Big Ryan. We've all been in a relationship, minus one person. Is your girl allowed to have a boy best friend? Nope. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's kind of rough. Can I have your reasoning? Um, I feel like boy best friends are, they just, boy and girl can never be friends. Uh, just because, like, it's always going to be t- tension built up between them. Like, yeah, I can, like, this girl, you know. Mm-hmm. No, you didn't have to say the name. Yeah. But. <laughs> we know who you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, there's always going to be tension between me and her. Damn. And, like, as bad as it sounds. Fuck like, your bitch. <laughs> it's just like, there's always going to be tension between a boy and girl. It's like. So, because of that situation, you're carrying it with you? I feel like it's just like with like any person, like you don't have any friends that are females, though. Like you, straight female. 
Every girl that you have a friend, do you want to fuck her? Whoa, 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 uh, whoa. We're not saying that yet. Not yet. We're saying, can your girl have a boy best friend? I was just trying to get a little bit more detail out of it. <laughs> oh, my fault. Go ahead, yeah, go, ahead, yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> he said, continue, you don't have continue. any. He we're said, you don't have any girlfriends, like female friends. No, I don't. I mean, I know like a couple of lesbians. I feel like if they're lesbian, <laughs> that's like different. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. They, like, they play for both teams. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not really, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like <laughs> if they're like straight and everything, like the boy or the girl is always kind of like trying to go under their skin and be like, it's fair enough. Be sneaky about it. That's just my opinion, bro. So no. no, what if, what if that's like her childhood best friend? I feel like that's even like worse. <laughs> different, because even worse. Well, I think so. Why? Why is that? Go on about that. Because from every TV show I've seen, <laughs> <laughs> me at one point or another, they always at least try. So whether it's it's earlier or later that's always gonna be there so factors is like you've met this guy before and he's not a not a bad person you still know like they're they they've known each other since they were four fuck all the movie shit like they, they've known each other since like they're babies and they're they're just been platonic ever since or at least that's what they tell you because you don't you're never gonna know yeah. the truth but still no that's different I feel like it's way different just because like maybe they grew up together. So is that a factor that that would play a big role into your consideration? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Would. Yeah. Yeah. What if he's gay? That's better. That's better? Yeah. I, I mean, that's worse. In a way. <laughs> why? Huh? I'm curious on your answer with that. Like why gay is best friends get invited to the sleepovers, bro? And he not really <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck i don't know i think i'm on the same boat it depends on the circumstance of course mm-hmm. like depending on the backstory yeah. but i feel like we all know the majority of the time if you're keeping a girl around it's for one reason and one reason only right i do have friends though that are female that i only see in that way <sighs> mr bitch is over here <clears throat> no like oh, it's, oh, lit- oh, oh. <laughs> it's literally just like friends where like i know that i put that boundary for myself where it's like no that's a homie but you're not curious. <laughs> I mean, see, that's a, that's a, the tricky part. With the eyebrow up. The but have yeah. you not have you not thought if I was that drunk, X amount of drunk? Well, maybe. <laughs> but this is why I say like it's tricky. Like it, it's always gonna be you're tricky because like I would hate I would, <laughs> I would hate someone goes, being able to tell me. Howdy. Like, <laughs> Line dancing and shit. I would hate someone being able to tell me or like wanting to tell me like you can't hang out with this person. But like sometimes I get it. It's very circumstantial though. And seeing like the type of person that the other person is too. Because I feel like you could always pick up a vibe when like someone's trying to sneak in on a chick or like yeah. sneak in on your girl specifically, you know, or like something of that nature. I feel like there's always hints or just things that we pick up too as guys because we know how we each are. Like, we all know the ways that we think. And That's what I was going to say. The only reason why I would say no is because I know dudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's not saying, like, you, you can't assume the worst on everyone, but you have to. And it's like, whether or not you know that person, there's always going to be that thought in your head. And there's only one way to get it out. She can't have a boy best friend. <laughs> like, it's not because I don't trust you. Mm-hmm. It's because I don't trust dudes. Dudes are grimy, bro. But, chicks, are, chicks are grimy, too. But can you trust your girl enough to overcome that, like, not trusting the guys? No. Nah. No, that's not that's not the point. I'm saying I, I could trust her as much as I want to. I just never trust a dude. Like, I trust you guys because you guys are the boys, right? Like, I've known you guys forever. But if it's just, like, some random person where she's like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, by the way, this is my boy. Who? Who the fuck is that? I ain't never met that motherfucker before. And it's... I just don't trust dudes. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I think that's just all of us, though. As a species. Yeah, we just don't trust each other at the end of the day. No one trusts each other at the end of the day. Whoa. Because, like... Say say that, like, your girl and you are going through a tough time. Boy, best friend's gonna be like, oh, 
he don't deserve you, he treat you like shit, this and that, and then he's gonna fuck with your girl's mind, and then that's when he's gonna slide in, basically. Like, that's like the worst. What the fuck is Drake, bro? (laughs) (laughs) He's spitting. He's spitting. That's facts. It's so facts, bro. It's it's it sucks, bro. Like, cause like I can say I've gone through that, but like, it's like it's like how every man is. Like, say you think someone's like bad as fuck, and like she's going through something. Of course, you're gonna want to be there for her. And then that's when the tension starts to build up. And then can you never? Can you never not have tension once you already have tension? Like, is there ever a way to break that? (laughs) Yes. You fuck. <laughs> but I mean, even after that, is in my way, like there's even more tension now because now you have fucked. But at the same time, you've done it before already. If you've never done it before, there's even more tension. Because oh, yeah. once you do it, it's like, okay, it's PNC. I think it goes both ways, to be honest with you. I feel like there could be more tension after you fuck someone. It's like wanting to fuck a girl for so long and then you finally do it. And then it, what if it's mid? You're not going to want to go back. But no matter what I just don't think they say is the right word. Okay. You still fucked. <laughs> I got it, baby. <laughs> you still hit. You got a tiny dick. I still fucked, though. <laughs> Shout out Kilo. Fabian, love you, bro. Uh, he loves saying that shit. He was like, bro, you just hit. And then afterwards, no matter what they say, your dick little, you fat, you ugly. I still hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I want to ask you because you obviously inexperienced. Saving so, for marriage. <laughs> celibate. celibate. So for future references, can they have? Let's let's dumb it down a little bit because best friend is a little extreme. Can they have guy friends? I don't know. I think it depends on the person. If it's like. Fuck, it's weird. Because I feel like there's always, especially now where people are just kind of hanging out with whoever, right? Although, like you said, guys really are, I think. They're dogs, bro. In the simplest sense, simple-minded, it's like, they're all going to go for it. Woof. Right? (laughs) He's one of them. (laughs) Right? So I feel like, I feel like I'm going to say no. I think just because. Guy friends, period, no. Yeah, or see, but that's where it's fucking. It's weird. Okay, then if we keep it with your answer right now, with like guys, period, no. At what point does that happen? Like as soon as you like talk to her, like how deep in this situation well, that's when you're are you? Boundaries. Because that's the thing, right? Because I feel like if I'm trying to be in a relationship with the person, at least again, don't have much data on it, <laughs> but I don't. Th- don't think I'm one of the people that spends all fucking day with this person. I think so, right? So I feel like where it might be the downfall, it's like somebody's gonna have to hang out with them. If it's all girls, much better, right? But if you have like a previous friend that you already go do shit with, like set shit, it's like I feel like it's kind of fucked up if we're not committed in any way yeah. and I stop you from doing shit like that. You know, so I feel like. Once we get to that point where it's like an agreement where it's like, all right, let's try to be something. It's like then I think just out of respect in a way, it's like she should hold herself without me having to tell her from having like one-on-one time with another dude. Like if you guys go out in a group, that's different. That's insane. One-on-one time with another dude is insane. That's what I'm... But it's like regardless of what it is, right? Yeah. I feel like that's what I think. That's fair enough. I just think... And people are going to say, obviously, oh, that's toxic masculinity. You guys are insecure. It's like, but you're saying that from a standpoint to where you've never experienced it before. And if you have and you still trust them and it happens again, maybe we're saying something truthful. Yeah. But it's like, dude, you you just have to assume the worst. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. And I feel like it's, yeah, it's more valid now. Because yeah. I feel like it's less being insecure now. Because back in the day, maybe because there wasn't exposure much to what other people were doing in their day to day lives. Like social media. But more now with social media, it's like we see how shitty people can be and how easy it is for people to flip from one side to the other. Right? So we're kind of inherently 
kind of brought up with the mistrust you just don't trust anybody like we were saying earlier so it's kind of foolish in a way to give somebody all that trust knowing maybe seven times out of ten they're gonna most likely do some shit yeah i've said this on the pod before but if you're dating to marry and that's the girl you're gonna marry she should be okay with your boundaries yeah and if she can't fulfill those and don't get me wrong you can have some crazy ass boundaries but if they're reasonable boundary reasonable boundaries and you guys both agree to the terms and they're not like you can never see anybody else you can only text me type shit and it's not like toxic and she's okay with those boundaries then she's the one nah baby day one i'm the one and only bitch throw your phone away that's why you're single exactly <laughs> you can't talk to your daddy you can't talk to your grandpa you can't even talk to your brothers <laughs> don't even think about going to your cemetery and talking to your great great grandpa oh, no. <laughs> that's insane so your OBGYN gone out of here <laughs> I'm your doctor I'm your dentist <laughs> that was a quick we need to have some girls on here yeah nah bro I feel like you definitely can sniff out the guys that are it's trying tough, to get you, girl. But it because you just gotta for some reason. I don't know. I've I've got weird vibes before, but it's it's kind of hard because they'll they'll show two different people. It's like you're still gonna sniff it out, right? But on the surface, they look okay. And then if you the second it's almost like the second you're off your game, that's when it happens. Like the second you're not, and they know because they're the best it. friend, right? And they're a dude. Yeah, they're the one. As soon as you fuck up, my boyfriend fucked up, so like now he knows. Yeah, I gotta step up my game. And there you go. Then you start the cycle. There's no girls to ask this, but what about reverse? What if your girl tells you you can't have any female friends? I'm respecting it, honestly. Like. If I genuinely like this girl yeah. and everything, and I've been dating her for a while, of course, I'm going to respect her boundaries because I put up my boundaries with her as well. So if she wants me not to talk to one girl, I'm like, yeah, okay. That- not just one girl, though, but all girls. All like girls? You just can't have any female friends. Yeah, I mean. What about my mommy? Is she a friend? My best friend. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that bitch? <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's my mom. You're talking sorry, about. sorry. I thought about it. After, my, 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 my. Swipe that out. Rewind, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure, though. Because it's not, it's not 50 50. It's 100 yeah, 100. Definitely. Yeah, you can't put up half of it. It's not fair. Yeah. And if you don't respect it, move on, bro. Yeah. And it depends on the girl, too. Like, if it was like a fresh relationship and everything, she's already setting those boundaries. That's You've insane. only known her for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's when it's like, all right. She like, got crystals in her pocket, bro. Uh, yeah. That's red flag number one. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Maybe bad sometimes, though. What do you mean by that? Bitch with the crystals in their pocket? Yeah, but they're fucking crazy, bro. Firebox. Is it worth though. it? Firebox. Where, where is she on the hot and crazy scale, bro? Crazy Damn near time. the top of the top, yeah. bro. <laughs> With the <laughs> crystals, bro. <laughs> as soon as she pulls out the crystal. They probably got crystals up there when they're talking to you, bro. <sighs> How do you feel about, like, when you meet a crystal girl and she plants a crystal on you without, like, your consent? She just drops that shit in your face. She's bro, a witch. I hate what happens. Abs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I can relate. Not totally, again. Bro, not again. <laughs> so last week... Like countless you, times do you feel like crystals have an effect on you because like i'm not trying to like toot the horn but like i've had a girl like plant a crystal in my car and it worked it, and like i found it and i've never told her anything but like after like i looked at it i was like oh this shit's like nothing but i kept it in my car i kept it in my car and i was like yeah hold on like i'm feeling some type of way you now like, is it more of the thought too? the thought of like having the the crystal there that just reminded you of her or was it you really think it was a crystal was she mexican uh yeah she's mexican yeah yeah i feel like yeah (laughs) yeah yeah i feel like that trust me bro i know like spouse and all that (laughs) shit that's a big factor yeah people are evil like i'm not even mexican and that shit happens to me bro what the fuck 
Waduh. <laughs> Waduh. Nah, to answer your question though, uh, Jax, she's not really a crystal girl, but she tried that rose quartz shit on me. And I didn't really play into it. Did it work? <laughs> it was like way after though. <laughs> How long is it? Was it, like been? Already in there. it was like already in there. But I was just like, I was like, whether this like played a factor or not we've been knowing each other for how long it's like we already had a connection by the time we were already talking so it's like if she wants to claim that it worked okay but like if i take it out right now it's not like i'm gonna stop loving you imagine <laughs> that's all you gotta do I might you throw it out the window and you go wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did nope. she tell you she planted it yeah yeah i feel like that's different though yeah, like, I say, guess so. Say if it, she didn't tell you and you just found it. Are you feeling some type of way? It's a crazy bitch. <laughs> Straight like that. Was she not? Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. It's a crazy bitch, bro. Sure. So, Jesse, girl comes up to you, hands you a heart that's pink. Right? You guys been talking back and forth, right? What you doing with it? Am I driving? You drive me. Mm-hmm. I'll probably put it in the car, forget it's there, and I just leave it there. That's how they get you. True that's gentleman, how, bro. That's how they get you. Is it? Do you have the stone that I gave you? Oh, this one? <laughs> I can never it's like, yeah, I got it, but I don't remember where it's at. <laughs> or I would not put it somewhere, leave it kind of floating around, end up throwing it away. And then whenever they ask, just be like, oh, yeah, I have it in my room somewhere. And then I don't have it in my room. I don't know where somewhere is, though. It's in there. It's in there. (laughs) In there in the trash. (laughs) In there in the trash truck. Yeah. That's crazy. (laughs) Fucking stone bitches, man. Do you guys believe in, um, like, Zodiacs? No. Fuck, I hate this one. Uh-oh. I hate this question, right? Because, like, I know Is about it. A rock bitch? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not a rock bitch. He put a rock but in my car. But I know car. about it, though. <laughs> and, like, it's interesting. There's some similarities. I think it's bullshit here. But you hang out with those kinds of bitches, though. Uh, not as much anymore. Oh. Believe it or not, not as much anymore. I changed my okay. palette. So what <laughs> What you were saying? Um, they just left them. <laughs> They stop giving them stones and shit. Yeah, dude. Stones. I stopped falling in love with them. <laughs> they took the stones in away. Love. I fucking threw the stones out the window this time. In love is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I lost my train there. Sorry. I did it again. Zodiac yeah. sign. Yeah, do you believe in the Oh, DX? again. There's some things where you're like, uh, it kind of matches, but like it's, it's kind of like far-fetched a lot of the times. A lot of the times it's far-fetched. Sometimes it makes sense. I know about it. Do I like it? I think it's fun. I don't take it super seriously, but I think it's kind of fun. So is that a yes or a no? Do I believe in it? Not a hundred percent. It's weird. Like I said, like I enjoy it. So you believe in it thirty percent? You believe in it? Yeah, I guess so. But like, it's it's just fun. This was a rock bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Some of it does match up, but it's like, bruh, what a coinky dink. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's why, like, it's fun. It's a fun thing to do, in my opinion. Just, like, a conversation, it's just fun. I like, it's not, Those I'm not gonna, like, guys, though, that's like, see, oh, yeah, guess my sign. Just, oh, you, you're giving, you're giving Taurus. He's like, oh, damn, you're right, I'm a Taurus. She's like, are you actually? He's like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that video. Before. Yeah. yeah, but that's it all the time, bro. It's like, dude, stop basing me off of your fucking rock thoughts. I am a person. I have feelings. <laughs> yeah, but the Mercury in retrograde, bro. <laughs> Mercury in Gatorade? Yeah. <laughs> I hated that shit, bro. Like, oh, you're tired? Oh, it's just because Mercury's in Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade. What? It's insane. Yeah. Bitches, man. Well, now that we're all together... What age do you guys see yourself having kids? I think we had the conversation we had before. The conversation. Not with him. Ooh. Oh, dude, that's hard. Um, I don't know. I would. 
Probably throwing the air maybe around like 30s. Damn, boy. Your girl was 30? Yeah, like 30s. I don't know. Their dude. body starts shutting down after 29 <laughs> when they have kids, bro. I mean, it's just like, in all honesty, I, uh, I don't know. I don't see myself having kids, bro. Like, as enough. much as I want to have a kid, mm-hmm. it's just like women these days are really cruel, bro. And it sucks. Like, I don't know. I'm still trying to find the one. For that shit. It's tough out here in these streets. It is. Kidding. I lucked out. <laughs> I was having this conversation earlier. Uh oh. Right. When, say you accidentally, you're this age, right? Okay. You immaculate conception, some bitch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and now, boom, she's pregnant, and you have a kid coming. What are you doing? Like from today to tomorrow. I'm getting drunk as fuck. What do the next 48 hours look like? Ugh. (laughs) Ugh. 48 hours? Give me too much time, I'll jump off a bridge. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, 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 nah. nah. Uppercut. (laughs) Put it down the stairs. I'm gonna be Coat hanger, bro. Honestly... I get the news in five minutes, and she says she's having it. And I get 20, 48 hours to think about it. Probably getting drunk as fuck. Waking up with a headache. Gladly. But I feel like once you're in it, you kind of you either thug it out. Because at the end of the day, it's their choice. But it's like, if she goes through with it, you got to thug it out. And if she decides to not go through with it. Then you're okay. So in this situation, is she gonna keep it or no? That's kind of the. We'll say yeah. So yeah. I'm probably getting drunk and thugging it out. Let my nuts hang, and I just gotta just gotta deal with it, bro. It was my mistake. I wouldn't tell my parents immediately though. <laughs> How are you feeling if she's having second thoughts with the baby? I would try to guide her through it. I'm like, and not get rid of it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I no. think I would. <laughs> you would just say dump it? From today to tomorrow, dump I think Dump it so. is crazy. <laughs> Plunge it out the toilet. Plunge it out the toilet. I think so. From today to tomorrow, yeah. But he just said in this situation. Team kick. <laughs> <laughs> I've been training all my life for this. <laughs> Alex Pajeda body kick. Yeah. Okay, but actually... Actually, you're a team kicker. <laughs> <laughs> like that, she decides to take the kid. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Because I feel like if I don't, if I don't like the bitch, I can't have the kid over there. Just because I feel like it just it makes it too hard. So what are you gonna do? So it's either, not coming out of your pussy. Yeah, <laughs> team kick, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a okay. square triangle. Get <laughs> <laughs> the combo unlocked. Yeah. It's not even the right button. <laughs> <laughs> it gets the job done either that. way. <laughs> he taught me that for sure. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. You get a team kicker? Oh, I think so. From today to tomorrow, I'm not actually getting a team kicker. But, like, it's a conversation I'm going to have to have where it's. Um, You're trying to get her to not keep it. I would push her to not keep it. You've been real quiet over there, big guy. Yeah, because, like, I was thinking about how I felt when oh, I. Oh, well, found you out. actually went through this. <laughs> Because, like, when I found out... Dirty team kick. <laughs> oh, my God. When I found out, I think I was in my room. Like, we were just both in there. And it was like a, hey, I took some tests, and I'm pregnant. And I think, like, my <laughs> first feeling was literally just fucking, like, being scared. Like, dude, you're fucking lying to me right now. I think that was my first instinct was like self-preservation, dude. Just like You're on camera. <laughs> gotcha. Like gotcha. self-preservation. Like, bro, like you're fucking with me. Like, no, you're not. Like, are you sure about this? Like, that was like my first thought. Second thought was like, fuck, dude. I fucked up. That was my second thought. First one was nah. Second time was fuck. I fucked it. And then literally, literally, literally. <laughs> and then lastly, it was that like, I don't want this kid. Like it was that like. So I did you? 
I don't know if you care about these questions, but did you not want it because of the chick? I just didn't want a kid. Okay. So it, it wasn't nothing... necessary. No, it wasn't even like necessarily because it was with her. Like at all, really. Like that didn't play a factor in my mind at all. Because I knew like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> depending on how I was feeling then or like what I was telling you guys and stuff like that, at the end of the day, deep down, I feel like she would have been a good person to the kid regardless. And that was the biggest worry for me. It was like, how good am I going to be for this kid? Right? So, like, whenever we found out, it wasn't much like, dude, I'm having a baby with her. It was like, fuck, I'm just having a baby. Like, it was like having a baby with her never crossed my mind. It was just baby, you know? And at that point, I was like, dude, like, I can't take care of a kid right now. Like, there's no fucking way I'm going to take care of a kid. And I the other, like, thoughts that kept coming, like, after that, like, you know, show moment was like, how am I going to pay for this? And I'm like, what am I going to do tomorrow? Like, do I got to get, like, everything just started flowing after, like, the first, like, shock and, like, fuck, like, this is really what happened. How long did you wait to tell your parents? A long time. A long time. I didn't tell them until almost the end. You guys knew more than them. Like, I did not tell my mom until, like... You didn't even tell me. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> oh, well, regardless of how you found out, like, I didn't tell him anyone really yeah it was jesse and then it was i think maybe chance maybe someone from work that i would have told but like i wasn't going around spreading that news so but like give me like a time frame probably like fucking four or five months into it that's oh crazy yeah. that's like insane. five like i think she would have been maybe like halfway through it if like almost close to halfway through it at that point that's crazy. So, how the fuck am I going to pay for this? I don't want a kid. What do I do? Mm-hmm. Solid three thoughts. Solid that three, situation. Solid three thoughts. How the fuck am I going to, like, fit three people in this fuck? Like, where the fuck am I going to live? Like, I was living at my mom's house, but I was thinking, like, how the fuck am I going to fit another body in here? We already got two big bodies. We don't need another body in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, we already take up enough space, two of us, as it is. Like, wait, how the fuck am I going to do this? My second thought was, like, dude, what are they going to think of me? Like, what was my parents, like, yeah. going to say? What I, was, like, this motherfucker going to say or, like, Giovanni going to say? Like, that was what I was worried about, too, is, like, what are they going to say about How me? long did you wait to tell him? I think almost right away. I feel like maybe I held, on, I held on to it maybe, like, a day or two, and then I was like, dude, I got I to gotta tell him. Because I didn't know what to do. I wouldn't either, bro. I did. I didn't know what to do. I like. I feel like I told you either the, the next day, or like, the day after that. But I, I know I took like some days to process, and then like, cause I was worried that he was just gonna run and tell my mom. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't want to say something right away. So I was like thinking about like the right way to bring it up, and I think I ended up just being like, "Hey, dude, pregnant" or some shit like that. Like it was something quick. Yeah, bleep that. But yeah, it was like something quick where it just like came out. Like it wasn't. I thought about it for so long that it just was. At least like you guys, that. at least you know that's your brother, bro. Because you didn't think about it. No. As soon as it came out, you yeah. just came out. Like it came out. Like as soon as I went up to, it, I was like, "Dude, guess what?" <laughs> or like it was like Dude, it was guess more. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like a nervous talk. I don't even remember really how it was, but I just remember it being like, "Yeah, like she's pregnant." And then he's telling me like, "You dumbass!" <laughs> like the first fucking sounds like him. initial reactions. Um, but yeah. And then it was like, I don't want this kid. No. But did, did you say it already? No, I didn't. Um, I'm definitely feeling like my heart's going to drop down to my asshole. <laughs> that's like, a given, bro. Like, it's like, I'm going a, I'm to a be in shock. Like, oh, fuck. Like, I got to, like, step up, you know? Like, yeah. I got to figure my shit out, get shit straight. But in all truth with me, like, I feel like I wouldn't leave the state i would start a new uh oh shit holy fuck completely just like with or without her no with with her. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> i thought you were gonna, gonna go buy milk bro you were out of this car the siggies over yeah. there <laughs> no, I definitely, got an alias i definitely would look out for the girl of course um and just like honestly trying to figure out like what's best for the kid and that's so you're planning already 
Not just planning. I'm just saying, like, that's... Like, Taking initiative. Yeah, because cause I was living with, with the chick at the time for me, right? She so was I, living with you. Yeah. So it wasn't like... um I wasn't really thinking, like... <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna dump this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think I thought that at all. It was like, dude, I'm in this situation already. Like I could, I could only get deeper from here. Balls deep. Yeah. Literally. Literally. <laughs> yeah. I don't. That leaving the state is crazy. Oh, bro, I was just like raising a kid here wouldn't be good, in my opinion. Like, would I you feel, tell your parents? Yeah, I would tell my parents. I wouldn't tell them right away. I would give it some time, because you know have to both of us will have to talk it out to make sure that we want to keep the kid we want yeah. to go through with it and everything and if she's serious i'll be serious because like that's crazy bro. i don't know bro like having a kid is a big thing bro yes bro it really is yeah, it's there's it's no instructions scary. with having a kid yeah it's really scary it's like the movie instructions not included <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro i don't it's a. Uh, so what about the other way around? Let's say she doesn't want the kid, but you do. Like, you're established at this point in time. You're well steady. Like, you know you could take on a kid, take on the responsibility. She just doesn't. Are you, like... I would feel some type of way. She yeah. gives you the option, though, where it's like, if you want it, like, I'll have it, but I have nothing to do with it. Once it's out of me, it's not my kid anymore. Like how do you, how would you feel about that? If I'm financially stable and I truthfully want a kid, I would probably take the kid in and everything by myself, and then completely shut her out from that kid's life, so she can. Well, I mean, she's asking for that already. But my, I guess my question would be more like, she just doesn't want to do it. But she's like, she doesn't want to do it. It's she'll do it for you, but she's not doing it for any other reason. Her body, her choice at the end of the day. Um, but I would definitely feel some type of way. I feel like I would emotionally detach from that female because, like, she wouldn't take me serious for that next big step. Especially that we're all pretty grown now. Crazy. Mr. Schmeff? What was the question? If you get told that you got a chick pregnant, what are you doing in the next 48 hours? Uh, what age and she, she like, wants to keep it. Like right now? like Yeah, you get told like in, in 10 minutes, you got a girl pregnant. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I man. hope you have the camera right on you, bro. Because that's exactly what you're going to look like when you get told. <laughs> you never want to get a meth head pregnant, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. You know Why are you fucking meth head, bro? <laughs> Damn. Well, at first I would, you know, I would call up her pimp. Just, just to let her know, let him know the deal. And then, You're not fucking your prostitutes here, bro. You're fucking your girl, I guess. Well, if it's the next 10 minutes, I've only ever fucked a prostitute. So, yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, she's a tranny, know, so she, can she even get pregnant, bro? <laughs> There's tranny midget prostitutes? I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I skipped state to actually go and buy the milk. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> go. I don't got I'll time for that. I gotta get Milk my money Milk and Siggy. Yeah. yeah. It was all a dream. Yeah. yeah. Delight. Delight. Ooh, the magazine. Something like, pepper. Oh, Remember what Clarence shit was in high school? Give me reasons we should be complete. But I stopped crying. You should be with him. I can't compete. I think I skipped part of the song. I know i And we're back. Sorry for the pause, guys. Um yeah. Technical difficulties, but we back. We back, baby. Kid Trunks has a question over there. What's some a good way to get over heartbreak? Proud sponsor. <laughs> That's my answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
como un cobarde que hasta me pongo a llorar. Anyway, I think that's a great way. <laughs> that's a great way right there. Just yeah. sing it out. Initially. Drink it out, bro. <laughs> Initially. My thing would be called a boys. Called a boys. I don't think I'd tell him I got broken up with. Oh, well, maybe I will. But yo, that time, it's probably going to fester. I don't think if it were to happen, oh, I guess you can't really say that. I'd probably call the boys. Just be like, yo, uh, can we go out? And then once you start drinking, I'll tell them. And then it'll turn into even more of a rager. And then we'll end up at somebody's crib with a speaker playing Marvin's room Ugh. while we're all drinking again, playing Connect Four. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> that was looking fun. That was fun. That, that was, was looking fun. fun. Yeah, you guys fucking crashed out hella early. Yeah. We're playing fucking, we're playing bullshit. Either bullshit yeah, or, or blackjack. Was and then though. Jesse was, was like, how about we just take a community nap? Yeah. Community power nap. Yeah. <laughs> but it's because everybody, or at least us three, laid down. He laid down, wow. and then Ryan laid down, and then Clarence was like, and he laid down. And then I was still awake. Like, me and Daniel would talk for like an hour after they knocked out. We were just chopping it up. Um, yeah, we were just fucking chopping it. We had a couple, we had like one more, one or two more. And then I was like, dude, I would love to crash here. But I'm not tired. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it was like, I don't know if there's tea, uh, caffeine in the Twisteds, but oh, yeah. I was just wide awake. And then we were just, he was playing Kanye. We were just blasting music. All you hear is these motherfuckers just <laughs> big spoons. Somebody was snoring, woke themselves up, went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scared himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Those are the best times. That was a fucking great night. Oh, it, was. it was. Wish you were there. Yeah. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that's probably the best way. It's gotta be around the boys. Cause if you if you just sit alone, it's just gonna make it worse. Cups of the roses. <laughs> Bitches this is a phone. I should call wanna go home. I've been in this club. Copyright, copyright, copyright. copyright. Oh, the woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much. And I'ma call her anyway and say, fuck that. <laughs> that <shit laughs> was so bad. I was gonna put the instrumental over that. We're just killing it right now. Probably off tempo though. Nah. Damn. Thank you. Straight you on, fucking bro. fix it. Yeah, you're a fucking <laughs> G editor, bro. AI that bitch. Oh, God. Like, what other way can you do it? Kill yours up. Nah, it's not worth <laughs> it. Over a chick? Hey, it's not worth it. That's the only thing I could think of. I want to be around the boys. Yeah. Because you guys were with us from the start. You're going to be, me, be with me today. No cap. Yeah. It's got to be at somebody's house. You don't want to do it in public. Pause. Like go out and get drunk type shit? Yeah. yeah I feel like it's a sloppy drunk. Because yeah, you're just going to want to get like fucked up, I feel like. Yeah. So it's, it's not a good look. Never. The strip might be cool, though. <laughs> Nobody You'll really blend cares. in with all the other yeah. fucking retards. Nobody out there. cares. It's on the strip. Downtown too. Be yeah, but downtown's a little bit more dangerous. Yeah. It might get pulled up on like at the hey. park, huh? Yeah. Yeah. For... Yeah. No more LA hats. <laughs> no more New York. He hat. threw all his LA hats away, dude. <laughs> Tossed the fitted, grew his hair out. <laughs> it's crazy. Had to switch scenes. <laughs> Cut the now head. he's a fashion motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen to Ken Carson. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I feel like with me going through heartbreak, you guys definitely helped me out for sure. Stop, bro. You made me cry. You know, honestly, bro. I'll stop it. <laughs> like being stuck in the crib, that shit hurts. It's like you don't want to be home, but you don't want to be out. Does that make sense? <laughs> but you don't want to be home. <laughs> no, because you don't want to be home, but you don't want to be in public. So, like, the, one of the boys' houses is the best place to do it. Because then you can get slaughtered and then just take a nap. And then wake up with a bunch of regrets. Yeah. But have or none. a headache. Both. Both. I feel yeah. like that's when you're making progress, bro, when you wake up with both. 
Oh yeah. Regrets and headache. Well, if you just wake up with a headache with no regrets, you still going. A headache shit. is a regret. <laughs> Keep drinking. Forget <laughs> yeah. about the headache. Fuck. <laughs> Another Arizona trip for Jesse's birthday. I'm saying. Ryan's not going to be 21 yet. It don't matter. We leave him in the hotel room. <laughs> Claire's popping out this time. That'd be fine. Are you are you blocking that female? Are you keeping things open? That depends on how we broke up. How messy was it? Well, I guess if it's a heartbreak, it's kind of self-explanatory. But I'm sure there's still mutual heartbreaks. I think I just either D and D or I just turn my phone off, or I delete the apps so I don't get the notifications. Are you moving on quick? Like, are you gonna be a dog right after that shit, or are you like? I don't know if I want to say this. <laughs> <laughs> theoretically, yeah. theoretically, but perhaps bleep this. <laughs> I don't think I'm moving on emotionally. Yeah. But physically, for sure. It's just a... What's the word I'm looking for? A crutch? It's just a replacement for for that person at the time being. But to answer your question, emotionally, no. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, like blocking them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, blocking them. Or moving on quick. Or are you keeping things open? I don't know. See, because I've... Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right. I need time. Like, after it's done. I just need a break. I have, like, just put on uh, restricted or, like, no notifications. Just still leave them on the app and it's not, like, unfollowing or anything. But I'm not looking at this shit. Yeah. I'm not keeping that away from me. Just so I have time for me to gather my own thoughts in my own head before I go do something stupid. So I'll pop off quick, send a message, and then I'm in a Drake song. Probably should have sent that message, bro. <laughs> like, but yeah. So it's like... That was so real. Um, I, I, in my own mantle, I just need time. Like, I, I don't mind keeping it cordial after the fact. I just need my time to, like... Where I don't want to have any communication, no contact. Like, I don't want to give a fuck about you for a bit. And then, like, maybe we'll keep it open, keep it cordial, depending on how it ended, of course. Um, But, yeah. I definitely, like, the first little bit of it, the first little part of that heartbreak is definitely, like, no contact, no nothing. Like, try to avoid it. Avoid the person. All of that shit. Just get my head clear before I do it. I feel like with the heartbreak, too, you don't even want to talk to that person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. completely, it's completely bad. Isolate myself, really. It's not like I'm iso- like, yeah, isolating myself, pretty much. Yeah, that's how I dealt with it in the past. How do you think you would handle it? I don't know. I think if it's a clean break, it might be easier for it to just. I think I'm decent and kind of. If I don't want to talk to nobody, I don't. Want, I'm not gonna talk to anybody. Like, like if I really don't. If I think I shouldn't be talking to you, I'm most likely not going to talk to you. I just said the same thing three <laughs> times. But I'm trying to gather my thoughts as I say them. But if it's not, I think that's going to be hard for me. Just because I'm constantly going to badger myself to like give myself an answer I'm comfortable with. Yeah. But even then, that answer isn't... Sufficient enough. Anyway. Yeah, it isn't enough. So like I, I think I kind of have the unluckiness of needing that final answer so until i get like a straight up yes or no black or white it's like killing me till i find out it's never gonna be a clean break yeah <laughs> yeah i know i, I mean know. It, it was a break for a reason right yeah it broke up for re- it, there's, there's never no there's never something where it's like completely cordial yeah, never it's never just something. but that's why i feel like if, it, if there's sufficient like reason to it where it gives me like a clear path where it's like oh, okay there is something set for why this happened or why it has to happen. I think I could use that a lot more than not having something like that. That makes sense. But it's like, I don't know. You, it's hard to put yourself in a, a scenario of heartbreak if you've never felt if it. If you've before. never really felt it, yeah. Yeah. Damn. 
when he does he get his heart broken i'm saying dude he's gonna drop a fire a album dog right after <laughs> <laughs> little chihuahua become a raw yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> big dog status yeah yeah that's uh because it's a roller coaster bro so if you just pour it all out by getting drunk with the boys it's like everything because you're gonna say a bunch of shit when you're drunk and everybody's gonna take it in when they're drunk hopefully and if like but i th- I feel like the boys are gonna be the least judgmental so if you isolate yourself you're just gonna be alone with your own thoughts no yeah i mean i've i've i feel like when i said isolate myself it's like from that person yeah okay. i was like you guys definitely fucking were right there <laughs> left and right whenever i needed it but i don't it. know if i would do it right away isolate no um I go out and isolate. yeah like, I don't know if I'm doing it right now and then doing that. Because I feel like I wouldn't know how to feel. And if we go r- into it right away, I have my drunk emotions with you guys feeding me stuff. Even if it's not you feeding me stuff, but you putting stuff that I wouldn't have considered. I wouldn't get my thoughts straight before I had outside interference with it. You know, and then by the next day, I've probably made a choice that I shouldn't have done. And now I have to unscramble that and then figure out what I actually want. You think you're going to fall quick? Do I think so? Mm-hmm. The thing is, I feel like I hold <laughs> I hold myself at a distance enough to where if I let somebody into that area, yeah. it's going to be hard for me to fill that hole. And fill it yes. or reclose it. So, yes. So, but the only reason why I would say go with the boys is because they're not gonna judge you. Like, no, I know, no, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying like your your shit is wrong, but I'm just saying I, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and like just relax first. Yeah. But it's so like, it's just sudden. Like it's literally just sudden. Yeah, I know, but not to go, not to you know beat dead fucking animals already. But if we go <laughs> into <fuck>? a situation. <laughs> If we go into... I forgot what the fucking saying is. Be the dead horse. Be the dead horse. It's an animal and it's dead. I wasn't wrong. (laughs) (laughs) As we've seen in priors, it's like... We could go, right? It happens today. I can go out. We get shit-faced. I say a bunch of shit. You guys say a bunch of shit. And then two days later, I'm back with them. And then we have another situation where it's like... What I said now interferes with what you guys said and it's like a different how would i say it kind of puts us uh, each other in a different light because if i'm feeling this way towards this person most likely i'm gonna side with this person so now this is bringing in different ideas onto what you guys said and you guys are judging me for what i said and then i'm going back on but that's what i don't think we would judge you like even even for me if you come to me and you tell me you just got your heart broken, the last thing I'm going to do is bring that bitch up. Unless it's funny. So I'm probably going to bring that bitch yes. up. But, <laughs> but I'm not going to say But, but that's what I'm saying because it's, it's, it's not the first time we go in this scenario. At least not with just like with the other people in our group. Like it's, yeah. We've been through this before and it usually ends more or less the same way. I don't think so. Yeah, his well, but his is. <laughs> <laughs> but even when Ryan's, like we always talk Ryan's. about, even when Ryan's, we always talk about exactly how we feel, how we what we think about that person. With CJ, same thing. Yeah. Every time it was like, because we have that tendency to talk shit about people, right? No, we don't have a tendency to is talk we? shit about people. <laughs> Who the fuck is we? <laughs> So it's like it's the hate instigator over there. He forgot. Bro, who are you talking about? We're just speaking French, bro. You crazy, bro? <laughs> Try to gaslight me over there. Yeah. Try to gaslight you guys, bro. Like shit's about to be said. Yeah, but what what do you gain by just isolating yourself and being alone with your own thoughts? Like I told you, at least for the day, or at least for the two days, it's like. It allows me to play in the shit I'm going to play into it anyways without having outside interference. So you just don't want to get drunk with the boys before you make those bad decisions again? Or do you just not want to hear what we have to say? Well, because everything that we're going to say is shit that he's already thought about. 
mm-hmm. for the majority of it. We might just say it in a harsher way, though. Or a nicer way. No. I mean, <laughs> Definitely not nicer. <laughs> the harsh way is always the best way. Yeah. Like, need it, it. It puts you in check. It, like, really does. And... I oh, I fucking hated it in the moment in the moment with you guys, but like at the end of the day, like at the end of the day, we're at the, right. at the end of the day, it's like damn, they're speeding facts. Bro. Yours was the worst, I think, out of all of us. Yeah. Between you, Ryan, and CJ, yours was the worst. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just saying. It happened so long ago, bro. It's completely different now. Like it's it is what it is at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, we're <laughs> easily proving what we're like talking about right here. I never said no, but who the fuck is talking <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, not, not I. Yeah, bro. It's not the guy next to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guy, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, fair. so, so if Jesse ever wants to be alone, we're not letting. Just know <laughs> some girl broke his heart, and we'll be at his window. <laughs> Because that's the thing. If you never want to be alone, uh, you, even when we're in a group, you want to be in the group just like kicking it. But you never want to be dolo. So I feel like if if you're like, if I'm like, yo, bro, let's go out. And you're like, nah, bro, I'm good. Be like, all right, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> and then I'll pull up anyway. I'm not just going to be an asshole and like come up and be like, oh, what happened, bro? You broke up with your chick? Fuck, oh, that's sad as fuck, bro. It couldn't be me. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> No, honestly though, like if I think we can all read each other pretty well, and if we're doing something out of the ordinary, then something's wrong. So he he was isolating himself, and he was like kind of steering left, and then we started fucking with him, and then like Ryan too. Even though obviously we we see the cycle of them going back, but like we we just kicked we just kicked it with him because he got over it, and then. Double back, and now they have clarity. Same way. The only one that didn't was CJ. Wow. Damn it, CJ. Fucking CJ. <laughs> one out of three, baby. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, I think like if, because we're trying to kick it out, kick it out. We're trying to kick it out anyway, like all the time. So I feel like the second you're like, and you're talking to a girl, and you're like, Nah, bro, I'm good today. Bitch. I'll see you. I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> Where that bitch at? Where, where the Addy, bro? I'd probably read it though. I wouldn't just slide up with that fucking emotion. I'd just be like, "Yo, bro, what's going on?" I'll crack a beer, we'll start drinking, and then he'll spill it out to me. Leo, Clarence, pull up, and then oh shit, Daniel, pull up, and then we'll all be subconsciously with the boys. <laughs> hey, but that's just me though. I don't be talking shit. For real. <laughs> for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. I'm actually like the the least outspoken one here. Who <laughs> intros and outros? Yo, bro, uh, <laughs> low battery, low battery. Yeah, I think our storage face is getting full, bro. As <laughs> I say, did you want to ask your question? You forgot it, huh? Oh, uh, it was him. Yeah. But Zoe, I don't want to say. Because the word I can't say. You say it. Naysayer. Naysayer. Yeah. To ask it like that. So I had, where I work, I see a, a multitude of types of people. Right? <laughs> it's a crazy way to start. <laughs> <laughs> what type of ethnicities do you face, Jesse? I don't see ethnicities. But the blacked out Cadillac driving <laughs> The ones that like to play basketball. They like to play basketball. But the point is, right, it's kind of part of, like, that culture where... Not that culture. That sounds crazy. <laughs> but where, where, where like, um, I had just... I was just putting together the similarities in the way that black people use the N-word, right? Naysayer. Naysayer. Yes. To when girls be calling each other bitches, right? <laughs> <laughs> And again, this is a, a half put together thought. So you could shut it down in one sentence and I'd be like, you know what? You're probably right. But in just one of my moments of sitting there and thought, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah. Because if I call a girl a bitch, she's going to get mad. Right? If I go up to a random bitch and say, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? She's going to get mad. But if a girl comes up to another girl and says, bitch, and then with whatever. Yeah, you got to do it with the accent. 
Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Exactly. I don't know what accent that was. <laughs> right, but it's like it's like there's no there's no offense, no harm, no foul. Inverse it with my fellow naysayer people, naysayers. They be calling each other naysayers, right? But the second <laughs> a crack a motherfucker says it, it's like you know the end of the world, as we saw by that rage video. Yeah, and that oh, was like, yeah, that was crazy. That was that's just my thought. You got his karma though. My initial thought goes, they have vaginas. <laughs> Black people are melanated. <laughs> but I, we have home... Well, I, okay, well, there are homegirls, but I think I'm the only one that says it. But they call each other whores. You yeah. Gotta, you probably got to bleep that joint out. But, like, she'll, like, post her at a rave. <laughs> homegirls going to know I'm talking about her. And she's... she's She's just showing it out. You know what I'm It's a rave. And then uh, it's kind of like a joking way, but we're just like, you fucking whore. And then she'll do the same thing, whatever. When we see each other, you're a fucking whore or whatever. But it's like, I don't know if it's because we know each other or like, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But my first initial thought was they have vaginas. <laughs> But if you know the person enough, then you can say it. But of even course. then, bro, even then, sometimes well, it's the I feel same thing with nervous. black people. Yeah. Like, like, having white people say that, anyway. yeah, but they know each other. Exactly. I feel like if you got the past, it's different. Like if you've been around that, that's group. their word, though. It's the white people's word. <laughs> they own it. <laughs> they own. <laughs> yeah. White people made that naysayer word, bro. N e g u s, Negus. No, I'm just thinking maybe Hitler was right. <laughs> oh my god, bro! We ending this right now. <laughs> Cameras are on. Wow! Yeah, clip bro. it. That is a crazy. That's image. a clip. That's saying that Jesse, we gotta talk to you. <laughs> Yo, coming up. <laughs> That's actually crazy. On that note. <laughs> it's been a great episode guys <laughs> thanks for tuning in this week uh we had a lot of fun with clarence here if you want to see the boy clarence again please let us know down below and like always one more time um jarvis this is isaac whatever the fuck that was jesse Guad. <laughs> another guy and then the main guy over here clarence What's your uh, Instagram tag? Uh, X Clarence. All right, there you go, uh, pretty ladies. You know where to find them. Hey, free date, handsome guy, possible free date, and free man. Likes rock bitches. Rock bitches? Yes. I like to put them to sleep. Oh. Yeah. You like to rock bitches? No, I said you like rock bitches. Oh, rock bitches. I mean, Crystal bitches. Oh, now you speak <laughs> my language. Yeah, sometimes it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I bite. He's a Cut that dude. shit out, bro. That's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Leave it That's in. That's so stupid, bro. Cut Leave that shit out. Leave it in. Uh, Did you guys see the video of fucking... Oh, what's his name? The UFC. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, put that on. Put that on. You recorded. Put that on. <laughs> What video, Jesse? <laughs> what video? <laughs> Share the interesting video. I didn't see what he was talking about. He said, "Say I should have shut the fuck up, bro." <laughs> <laughs> what video? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs>